Heath with City Chick here today with Benny, and in today's video, we're going to show you a new type of hemp bedding on the market uh, called Obby Chick. Did you know that hemp bedding, when it was first released onto the market, it was originally intended as a bedding for horses? Us chicken people got found it, got a hold of it, and discovered how absorbent it is and how great it is. Uh, we've been using it ever since. Uh, this coop has been cleaned out. We've got rid of all the previous hemp bedding that was inside here. Now, everybody's coop is a little bit different. This coop measures eight feet long by four feet wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, 22 pound bag here, I'm gonna break it apart and then I'm gonna get it spread it out and show you how much of one bag will cover inside this uh, eight by four coop. So one thing you will notice is this has a lot more of a finer texture than a uh, regular hemp bedding does. That's because this company actually cuts down the stalk a little bit finer to make it softer for the chicken's feet. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to spread this all out in the coop here. I'm gonna push some of it back over here towards the nesting boxes. All right, getting it all spread out. I went ahead and I put some in the nesting boxes, even though the chickens in this coop are all over five years old and it's the start of January. I haven't had an egg from these chickens uh, probably since September. So I've got some uh, free loaders in my hands, but I just went ahead and uh, put some hip bedding in here to show you anyway. The 122 pound bag was just enough for this four by eight coop. Uh, I've got it all spread out. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker over here underneath the nesting bars because that's where they uh, will jump up here and sleep at night and then they'll jump down. On average, you're probably gonna get at least an inch worth of hemp bedding uh, from the floor up to the, the one inch mark, a little bit higher in some spaces. and. Put almost uh, two inches in the nesting boxes. Again, no eggs are gonna be in here. I've had some people reach out and ask me if the chickens actually eat the hemp bedding. My chickens do not eat the hemp bedding. I've been using hemp bedding in my chicken coop since at least 2018. I personally have never had a problem with it. Um, now I'm sure if you switch out your bedding, you go from pine shavings to hemp bedding, and you put that in there, absolutely, your chickens are gonna pick some up. They're gonna try it out just because it's something new. Then they realize, hey, the stuff, oh, okay, this isn't as good as uh, chicken feed. It's not gonna hurt them if they wind up do eating a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna show you the difference on what this product looks like, the obby chick hemp bedding compared to just regular standard hemp bedding. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, most you know hemp bedding is used with horses. This one is specifically designed for chickens and their feet. On the left, you can see the obby chick product. This has almost a sawdust-like kind of texture to it. Uh, really soft, really billowy. Uh, the product on the right is your standard hemp bedding. Uh, you can see a lot more of the husk in this. Since it is hemp bedding, both are going to be super absorbent. Something you might want to take into consideration if you're raising baby chicks. Um, if it were me personally, I would not use the Obby Chick product with baby chicks. I absolutely am going to use it with my older hens. Um, I would just personally be concerned about baby chicks eating the really fine particles of the, the hemp bedding and getting some sort of crop impaction while they're really tiny. Um, I would wait until they were at least six to eight weeks old before I actually switched them over to the hemp bedding and I would use pine shavings with my baby chicks. Now I've got a couple of videos where I talk about how great hemp bedding is, and I'm gonna put a link up here so that way you can click through. Be sure to check those out. I've got another video on how to make your hemp bedding last longer because it typically costs more than other bedding on the market. So I'll put that up here and I'll also put them down in the comments below. Have you tried hemp bedding? I would love to hear what you think about hemp bedding uh, with your chickens or even with your horses, or even if you're one of those people that use hemp bedding for snakes, uh, guinea pigs, any of that other stuff. So be sure to leave that down in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. <laughs>